That's all right. We're going to let the goddamn devil win. Y'all see they wouldn't let me. Look, I couldn't see what nobody had put or nothing else, y'all. It's my bad. My bad. My bad. It ain't my fault, though. That what happened. So I couldn't see what nobody said or nobody signed. It wouldn't let me pull the screen over. That was that bald headed whole shit. Y'all know how that go when you go to spin that truth. So, okay, here we go. See, I couldn't see y'all before y'all that. I got, so I got my Gemini, my Scorpio, Taurus. Hey, Queen. Hey, Maria. Y'all see it keep doing it. Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus. I'm gonna go back up. The line, I'm gonna go back up the line. I'm going. To, I'm going orders. Okay. I got Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo, Y'all see y'all y'all see what happened. Y'all see that look, they tried that look. They be trying to trick a nigga out these streets, y'all. That's all right though. We still we still gonna drop these damn signs. They can try to they gonna kick the look. every time you spit in that truth, they getting upset, y'all. Oh my god, what's wrong with these nice people? But anyways, can I look can I get a mediator on here so when somebody join in and, and they don't know what it is? Like if you if you're gonna be if, if you can do it for me, like if you could inbox me, let me know. So I'd appreciate it, and you know, I look out for you. Starting off with my Gemini, look, y'all got a car flew out. My Gemini, y'all say y'all don't sacrifice too goddamn much, and y'all tie that shit. Okay, there go my Leo game right there. The so if you're just tuning in, it's Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo, and Leo. That's what got dropped. So already my Gemini's, we getting started. Look, my Gemini's, okay, I'm going to let y'all know like this. Y'all went through a lot of that y'all had to go through. Everybody go through their trials and their tribulations. You had to sacrifice a lot, you know what I'm saying, growing up, everything. Your whole life been a whole goddamn listen. We can write, look, we can make, y'all almost feel like this damn chill, don't y'all laugh. We can make sequels about our fucking life, especially growing up in the 772. Boy, look at here. Anyways. All that patience and you planning because y'all are very smart. Y'all very smart and very intelligent. No, I just started Jemiah. Look, I ain't getting me no media on here yet. But anyway, you don't been through a lot. Of patience, patience is is a virtue. It's not with everybody, but y'all know what I mean. And you listen. Y'all sacred chocolate charge. Y'all y'all finna get a wish that's granted to y'all. Whatever y'all been wanting, you about to get it granted to you. It's a wish finna be fulfilled. So here we go, Gemini. Let's rock with this. I ain't gonna skip. Oh, you said don't skip Taurus. No, I got Gemini, Scorpio, then Taurus, then Capricorn, then Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius. And those are the only ones that drop. Y'all make sure y'all follow me. Y'all follow me on YouTube. Look, my, my, my motherfucking Gemini's had to walk away from something or some situation. Mmm, we're gonna see. That bitch came back on the bottom of the deck again. Y'all said, fuck that. Said, Hold up. That damn light was fucking with me. Listen, my Gemini's. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. It is what it is. Sometimes you get tired. You know what I'm saying? You know when you're tired because you don't talk about it no more. You just do it. So, my Gemini's. If y'all was trying to hold on to this person that y'all felt like was y'all person, y'all felt like this was y'all soulmate and everything else, but you still had a sort of deceptive, you still had that like deceptive feeling about this person for some reason. And it's like, you knew that it had to come to a fucking end because it's somebody, it's like either somebody else that you going back to or somebody else they went back to or you got somebody new that came in, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They could be younger than you or... That could be a possibility. But anyways, it's, it, it's like it took a lot for you to even leave the other person alone because you thought that was your person. Wait a minute. Hold up. Gemini, it's that third eye kitten. And there you go. There go the high priestess, J or B. And whoever this new person is that's coming in, like you see this person as your sunshine. You see this person goddamn. Listen, they can take their goddamn hair and they can turn it into a goddamn gold. What I'm saying is you moving towards this person, but you like trying to figure out like, I don't know, like, is it too good to be true? 
Ain't nothing too good to be true. And then the one you were fucking with, listen, that motherfucker want to act like you the one did them wrong. They want to play that goddamn victim role. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. You stuck in your head. You don't know what you want to do because you hurt. You got to make a choice. You know the other one to sell. They probably even used to steal for you. Listen, like I said in the beginning, y'all got a wish granted. Y'all got nine of cups. That's a wish fulfilled. And y'all wish fulfilled. It's finna be in love. So that's what I'm talking about. My Gemini. Hey, I got a, my Venus in Gemini. Y'all Y'all think I'm finna get my wish fulfilled. No, ma'am. I, mean, um, I haven't done cancer. I just started. Gemini was the first one. Now I'm finna do Scorpio. Then I'm gonna do Taurus. Then Capricorn. Then Cancer. Then Virgo. Then Leo. Then Sagittarius. In that order. I got you, Aquarius. So here we go, my Scorpios. Oh, look, let me give y'all your yeah, oracle. A lot of y'all got y'all soulmates. Y'all don't find y'all soulmates, but y'all got the decipher between the karmic soulmate and the heavenly divine sense soulmate. Because, like, you might feel... I think, the, I think the one that you feel like you're so drawn to is really, like... I think that'd be more of an ego feeling. And the one that you, like, know... I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. But anyways, my Scorpios, y'all are becoming very well aware. After all the triumphing that you guys have been through, y'all are very well aware of what is going on. And it's like, you, you got a lot of wisdom. One thing about my Scorpios, they will sit there and they will learn your shit and they will master your shit. Don't play with them if you fucking want to. And y'all solar places is charged. And yes, y'all do have patience and planning. Because you. one thing about my damn Scorpios, y'all are y'all are a fixed, you know, yeah, y'all a fixed sign. Y'all know what y'all doing. Very methodical. So here we go with the oracle. Y'all, whoever y'all dealing with, they cheating. Somebody got this third party shit going on. I don't know if it's nine or the other time, but I'm just saying. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Yo, yeah, it came up on the bottom of the day. Yeah, yeah, somebody cheating. Some, somebody could be cheating with a male and a female. Could be like a, a whole threesome like that too now. Two males and one female. I'm just saying. Look, this card ain't want to flip over. So, y'all at that point, my Scorpios, where? It's time to make a choice. Y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe an angry Sagittarius. I see strong Leo, but it's some truth about to come out. Maybe some of y'all was dating a Leo or so on, and you want to go back and, and try to rekindle this. Because it's like maybe realize that a lot of y'all probably realize that y'all can have some with this person. I don't. I see y'all don't. You don't really communicate with this person a lot. It could be a Virgo. You don't communicate with this person a lot. And the truth of the matter is the shit came to an end so damn fast so they make no sense. And at that time, you ain't realize what you had. Mm -hmm. But you had something with this person. You could build and grow with this person, whoever this person is. But I think this person got their damn guards up. Yeah, because they know you were doing this other shit. They ain't stupid. They know you was... Yeah, they go that... Look... There go that third party card again, y'all. Looking on fell in the middle of the deck this time. And it's like this right here. You probably were hurt when they found out about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can't even lie to this person. You probably were hurt. And you probably listen. My Scorpios, y'all let that arrogance come out. That's what y'all did. Y'all y'all, y'all know how y'all is. No offense, you guys, but my Scorpios, my damn Scorpios, goddamn Virgos, and Pisces. Are some assholes and Aquarius. The men are. If you ain't like that, then you ain't got to be coming to me. Listen, you want to try to hold on to what had got strip, stripping away from you. Y'all heard me. You trying to hold on to it, but you feel it's like you didn't. You, you don't boss up something, but you know this person. This person holding on to what happened in the past, and it's like you can't get nothing over. You feel like this your person? Oh, really? Well, who, who did? Y'all seen that? McCallum fell off the wall. Y'all come here playing if y'all want to. I don't know who that is, y'all. They don't make my calendar fall off that damn wall. They better put it back up there, whoever did it. I don't know which one of them it is. When I get, when I get done, I'll figure it out. Cause, let me shut up. But anyways, <laughs> my Scorpios, y'all, it's like you, you might have missed the boat on this one. Y'all may be dealing with an Aries. Y'all can have a Capricorn. You may, have, you may have missed the boat on this one. You may have missed the ball. And the truth of the matter, this person do love you. Y'all look like y'all may have had a family together. And look, there go Justice. Justice came about. It looked like Justice kicked in because the, the, somebody was trying to balance this shit. Let me show you. You're trying to balance it, right? There go your queen right there. There go your queen. Who you, who you thinking about? There go that damn car right there again. Justice. A lot of y'all probably was married to a person. And y'all probably want to go back, want to get y'all relationship back or whatever. I don't know. 
Y'all the only ones that know y'all ain't gonna tell it. But whoever it is, y'all listen. Whoever it is, somebody, boy, look at somebody always got something to say. Somebody was all in y'all business anyways. Where my tires is at? My tires is running ass on up here. You can't hear. Can you hear me now? I my volume up. Oh, shit. Okay. So my Taurus is here we go. Let's see. My Taurus is ready to take this goddamn leap. Look, I'm shuffling it right. I'm just showing y'all ain't lying. This card just oh it wasn't supposed to be over. That's Aries energies. My Taurus is y'all finna take this leap of faith tour somewhere. Y'all say fuck that shit. I'm tired. It's like tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. What's going on? Because one thing about my Taurus, my Taurus is like to have nice things. They work hard. They do what they got to do. They like to have nice things. Taurus governs the second house. The second house is the house of possessions, like what you own, your, your, you know, your material assets. So my Taurus is this. Hell yeah. My Taurus is. Y'all taking this leap of faith because y'all know y'all got to make a goddamn choice. Y'all making a choice between something or somebody that y'all cannot keep no fucking money with. It's between them and your damn assets. It's either you bossing up or you finna keep letting this shit go on. It, it could be two people that this shit happened with, but it's like everybody got their hands out for some of y'all. My Taurus is, y'all don't boss up. Y'all don't have a spiritual awakening because they go judge me and get a little bit. He go Scorpio energy because something finna come to an end in order for something to begin. You feel like you giving, 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 and all the other people doing is taking, 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 and ain't nobody giving back. And you like, fuck that shit. You do this on your goddamn own. Three is always company. Hell no. Three is a, three is a crowd. Yeah, two company. Three is a crowd. Y'all know what I mean to say. Y'all know I'm ass backwards. Anyways, my Taurus is, I don't know who this is. Leo. I'm, look, maybe a Leo. Y'all got a Scorpio, Taurus, maybe another Taurus. I didn't mean to say that either. Y'all got a Scorpio, a Cancer, or either a Pisces. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I see very strong Leo. Whoever this person is, you don't heard from this person. You're thinking about moving towards this person, whoever it may be. But this person, you feel like this, this is a wish come true for you. Yes, it is. It's it's a wish come true for you. And you get finna get a brand new beginning. This is also somebody look like somebody from your past. Coming back around. My Taurus is, oh, yeah. Somebody from y'all past thinking about coming back around, but they know y'all got y'all guards up. But y'all manifested each other. God damn. Y'all got it. Okay. My Taurus is that's what I'm talking about. Y'all, I like to see that. Y'all know how many y'all know lately, everybody I've been doing these past two, three days. Y'all know everybody a lot of people been, every time been finding their damn soulmate. What's up, Sugar Ray? <laughs> Every time I've been finding that soul, man, y'all, uh oh, my nose itching. Y'all know what that means. That be like message. Here we go, Caps. Where my Capricorns at? I ain't see Key yet. Where Key? Because she going to cuss me out. <laughs> so my Capricorns, let's see what we got. After Cap, so I done Gemini, Scorpio. I just did Taurus. I'm doing Capricorn. I got Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. So here we go, my Caps. Look, you on the Sagittarius. Look, Tasha, you made it. <laughs> My Capricorns with a lot of patience. Y'all been putting in a lot to try to get this firm foundation y'all got going on. Y'all know y'all are good at numbers. Listen, four, four, five. If y'all play numbers, play four, four, five. Y'all got nothing but accelerated motions ahead, but y'all got to be careful. Y'all play four, 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 two. Y'all got to be careful because y'all got to be able. Y'all, I hope y'all can spot the deceptive, the deceptiveness and the envy that's in that's coming in between. Cause that's trying. It's, you got a disruption trying to come to you, and sometimes you know how sometimes we get bored and we do stuff. You not late, Tasha. You know how sometimes you get bored and you just do stuff. Okay, this this look like a situation like that. Like I said, a lot of signs got their soulmate. Here we go, Capricorns. So here we go. Damn, my Capricorns got some love. Ooh, that's some love. Whoever this is, ooh, it's so good. The bedroom, it's so good in there, ain't it? That thing be off the chain, don't it? Mm hmm. Mm -mm. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This person look like they got their guards up. I don't know what's been going on, but look like y'all might be on the verge of breaking up. Because my um, Capricorns, are whoever you're dealing with, it's either you <coughs> in your mouth running this person off, or it's them in their mouth. But it's y'all argue a lot. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Leo. 
or maybe a Leo bringing it to your attention, or maybe you just you had to have the strength for you to even pay attention to that third eye, J or B, because you in Pisces energy right now. That means your intuition has kicked the hell in and it's in overdrive. Some of y'all are dealing whoever this person is y'all dealing with. This is a person that use their anger and aggression when they get caught up in their lies. Some of y'all could be married to this person and you feel like this person ain't shit. And then it's like, but I feel like this is a soulmate for y'all, but is it karmic or what? I don't know. We're going to find out, right? Y'all feel like this, this, this shit can work out. But at the same time, when your intuition kicked in, you seen all the bullshit. You probably listened to a damn song and you heard everything that was being said. And know that, that song said something totally different to you. And it's like you tired. You were done. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You got a brand new beginning, brand new start. Some of y'all, listen, it, it, this person probably made some of y'all boss up or some of y'all could be dealing with a baby mama or baby daddy or y'all want to move towards another baby mama, baby daddy. Whoever this is, like y'all leaving. Y'all getting away from this person. This person got kids from y'all. You thought this was your queen. This ain't your queen. Y'all getting the hell away from this person. Yeah, it's going to hurt you to get away. You do love this person. That's true. But you can't say shit because this person always, they got always rebuttal. They got always got something to damn say. Yeah, that's just so mad. Yeah, yeah, y'all married to this person. Sure is. And y'all been fighting for the damn longest. And this is a free-spirited person. Y'all probably dealing with Sagittarius. I'm just saying. With that being said, some of y'all got a baby on the way. Here we go, cancers. Where y'all at? Y'all, I'm on my damn knees. I should have got me some fucking knee pads. <laughs> Give me some motherfucking knee pads. Hey, hey, my Leo. <laughs> how, that, how that little chunky baby doing, look? How's everybody been? How these engines doing? So, I'm telling y'all, we had that lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse, I'm going to tell you what a lunar, a lunar eclipse is going to pass over the moon, right? So the moon is the that's that's the harbinger of the soul. When you die, that's where your soul goes, whatever moon it is. The moon is also the way you think. It's like the mother. That's your feelings, your emotions. It governs the fourth house, your foundation, who you are, your ancestors, all of that. So basically, what happens is when the sun is, is passing over the moon, that means the sun is bringing some light. So some shit that was secretive, it don't came out or that shit is coming out. The sun is bringing some light to some shit and it's just being exposed Something dealing with your household, your family. I'm just saying now, my counsel, because y'all are very intuitive, like very. Choose wisely, my counselors. Choose wisely. Because y'all heart chakra is activated. You got a lot of spiritual strength, but at the same time, sometimes when you, especially when you in the beginning of that spiritual journey, that shit will take you, you don't know, you don't know the cut off. You don't know, okay, you want to be humble, but then you sometimes you can be too humble. You know it's balanced. Just Choose wise. You got to find the balance, y'all. Find the balance. Y'all got to choose wise. Damn, y'all damn look. Y'all sacred chakra activated too. I know y'all been feeling happy lately. That's good because y'all usually be emotional. I love my motherfucking cancer. Y'all know I'm a cancer, Leo. Don't be doing me like that. I'm a cusper. Where, where your sister at? What did I just had? Oh. I had to figure out what I just had, y'all. Here we go, my cancers. Let's see. My cancers, y'all intuition don't peak. It don't peak up real high. Y'all, y'all are very sensitive right now. You have to be careful to the company you keep because everybody walk around with a with a 10 foot aura radius. So that's the law of attraction. You could be feeling good and having a good time and somebody could come in there cussing and it just in your mind, what your mind tell you is getting on your damn nerves. But in all actuality, what happened is the law of attraction. They walk with they light is dim. When you put a dim light in into a bright light, what you gonna do? It's gonna do I mean a dark, say a dark light. It's gonna dim the shit. Y'all know what I was trying to say. Don't y'all be doing me like that. Y'all get it. That's the law of attraction. If the ears can't proceed, the law of attraction will attract. You can't even have messy ass people around you. Cause I'm trying to tell you, you got messy ass people around you, the motherfucking <laughs> You gonna draw messy ass situations. I'm just saying, y'all getting the hell away. Y'all, y'all look, y'all had to get y'all getting the fuck away. Y'all flying so damn fast. Y'all getting the hell away. Y'all ready to go cut somebody out about something. Let me see. Let's see, whoever this person is, whoever this person is, <laughs> you either feel like this person about their money or you feel like this person been taking your shit all this time, like you've been taking care of their asses. This is something from the higher ups. Yes, you love this person. That's true enough. You love this person, but this person ain't making you happy because you can't have a, y'all are total, y'all are really opposite. 
Y'all are totally the opposite. Y'all really are. And you've been trying to juggle them, but you're tired. And you're ready to get the hell away. Because you realize you don't want that shit. Look, y'all, look. Hey, counsel, here go y'all car. Y'all flying from that motherfucker. Y'all like, fuck that shit. It came to an ending. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Then you had a, that little birdie whisper to you. Then they want to sit up there. The Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Then they want to sit they macho ass up there and act like they don't know what happened. They went to plan the goddamn video. It could be your money. They floss away. Y'all know it's still flossing season for some people. So somebody want to come back and apologize. You got your guards up because you're tired. And you're doing your own shit. You're, doing, you're on your top of your own tags, your own collars. you manifesting what you want. Somebody from the past that y'all dealt with that could be slightly younger than y'all. Or y'all could be slightly younger than them. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, they coming back. They coming back around. They go judgment. Mm. After judgment, you had a page of pen because y'all know I'm going to start right there. But I'm going to tell y'all the bottom of y'all debt says is wish come true. Listen, y'all tired of fighting with whoever y'all been dealing with. Y'all been dealing with this motherfucker the past five years, five months, five weeks, whatever. Y'all been going at it. Y'all tired of they asses. Y'all doing look. Here it go. Y'all like the damn bird boss. Where is it? I can't find my scarf. Y'all know the bird. What the shit called? Y'all know the bird. Remember the bird boss? Y'all just like, y'all walking by faith and not by sight. Boy, y'all can't even fucking look right now. Y'all just got to go ahead and let Jesus, just let him guide you. Because you guys, you guys, your Orishas, everybody is around y'all right about now. Y'all are very, y'all are really blessed. Y'all got y'all little, a lot of y'all got y'all kings or y'all queens coming in. But you got to make this choice and decision wisely. Choose wisely. My cancers, blood is thicker than water, my cancers. But that motherfucker leaked the same goddamn way. Y'all don't forget here we go, my Virgos. Where my Virgos at? After Virgo, then I got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. And y'all know that's everybody that dropped their sign. That's all that dropped. Here we go, my Virgos, my perfectionists. Some of y'all, listen, some of y'all, my Virgos that's on here, you are a light worker. If you don't know what a light worker is, a light worker is an earthbound angel. You're more special. Let me tell you, the ones that, people that had the hardest life, the toughest life, that's what you are. It's total, uh, totally opposite. Y'all know we thought the good posted it. Nah, hell nah. Y'all know they told us the ass backwards. Y'all know the damn eye. Don't y'all know y'all eyes, it flips. Objects really be upside down and it, it flips it. But we the way we see it, like it be straight up. So come on now. I'm just saying. Y'all be mad. So, my Virgos. Y'all play them, y'all play 9910, y'all play 9910, I mean, or 991. Y'all got, listen, this is y'all destiny, this is y'all fate and y'all destiny. A lot of y'all ain't showing people that y'all going through it, but this is something, this is all a part of your destiny. Like, whatever this is that happened, it made you grow up spiritually, and, and you took it, yeah. Whatever it is that, that happened, you probably took that intuition the wrong way because it made you have, like, emotional loss and everything. But you really got a, a wish being granted. You just got to you gotta be humble sometimes. Sometimes you got to swallow your pride. You know what I mean? When you wrong, admit you wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that because ain't nobody perfect. Experience is not the best teacher, okay? It's mistakes. Because you had to make a mistake to get that damn experience. If you, you can tell, you, you know damn well, you can tell a person anything. A person's going to have to feel about it. You got to shit. You got to be self-taught. You got to make that damn mistake your damn self. In other ways, I mean, but you know, you at least you know because you don't hurt somebody to talk about it. But I mean, I'm, that's just real. Mistakes is what make everybody. Damn, Virgo, y'all popped out on y'all. Y'all the first card pop out. Y'all inside y'all self trying to figure it out. Y'all trying to put it together. You know, my Virgos are perfectionists. Mm. Y'all trying to put it to put it together. About this person that y'all dealing with. That's the motherfucking devil. It's very toxic. This is a very, very toxic connection. This is like when a woman have a baby. And you got to cut that umbilical cord from the placenta. Y'all got to cut that umbilical cord. Because it's like, it's codependency. A lot of addictions, lies, cheating. Y'all probably cheat on each other. Y'all probably don't even want each other. Y'all had a burst of inspiration. Y'all, listen, y'all don't have an epiphany. And y'all know that this person is cheating on y'all. Y'all know that. Some of y'all could have been married to this person, but y'all done. Y'all, somebody was putting y'all on GP. Y'all finna, if y'all was married to this person, y'all finna get divorced. Y'all gonna divorce this person because this shit ain't right. You know, you water seed long enough for it to grow, but you're tired. 
You're tired, you're tired, you're tired. And this looks like a commitment on a higher level. But listen, somebody is toxic as hell in this relationship. I don't know who it is. Trying to hold on to the bag. You know, who won't? Everybody trying to hold on to their bag. But somebody is toxic as hell in this relationship. And this had to happen to break you down or to humble you. So you can see, you can't. You got to pick and choose your words. Why is that go for everybody? Sometimes you don't mean things that way, but everybody don't perceive things the way your mind, the way your heart feeling like you, the way you are addressing it. Put it like that. Yeah. Some of y'all finna, whoever, some of y'all finna get divorced, but y'all, it's like, y'all feeling like it's cheaper to keep it because whoever it is, it look like y'all cheating on each other. Could have had a threesome or something too, but I see some justice coming. It's like, you trying to hold on to your assets. Trying to hold on to your assets because somebody else that you probably been, that look like you may have been dealing with. Mm-hmm. And then you feel like your person left you out in the cold. I don't know. Y'all going back towards some of y'all could be going towards a Leo, but whoever this is, this is it, this is a person from your past. This is something from your past. Y'all look like y'all more focusing on money right now at this point, but y'all going towards who and what y'all really love. And whoever this person is, like they give you energy, like your sunshine. I mean, like that's what it is, and you feel like that's your soulmate. And all this happened because of the simple fact of you bossed the fuck up, or your person bossed the fuck up. You got the strength to get the fuck away from their ass. Could be dealing with a Leo, like I said, but guess what? You realize that they was taken from you. They they was really taken from you. It's like that was either another child or they was probably literally stealing from you. I don't know. Only y'all know. So there we go, my Virgos. Keep in mind that every 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 reading ain't gonna resonate with everybody, but everybody going through this really the same thing, just a different intervals. It's levels to this shit. Here we go, my Leos. What the hell do we got going on? Mm, my Leo said they about trying to set a foundation. My Leo said, they ain't even playing. To everybody, every sign that, that made this shift and understand what I'm saying, congratulations. Because, boy, it's been a motherfucking ride. My Leos and passions don't been ignited. You got a lot of disruption keep coming towards you. My Leos, 111. 111. Damn. My Leos play 111 or 1111. Either way it go. I see positive movement because a lot of y'all don't went through a lot. Y'all suffered a lot. Y'all don't lost a lot. Like some, some, some of us had to even learn how to fucking love again. Patience and planning. We don't fucking plan. We just act off of impulse. So I ain't finna sit here and boot up my Leo. Y'all know how that is. We, but we, we, we too slow to be sleeping. We know how to take the damn credit. But at the same time, though, no, we had to learn patience is not a Leo virtue. Hell no, we don't got patience. We do not got patience. We get angry too easy. But, you know, that's why we had to learn patience to teach us how to contain all that shit. Little my Leo say, fuck that shit. It's some truth. It's a ramification. We came out, came out or brought out in this situation. We're going to get this shit. Like I said, I see the soulmate card with y'all, too. Y'all feel like somebody was deceptive as hell that y'all was dealing with. Damn, no. That gold message. Damn. Y'all knew it because y'all got this message from the goddamn higher up. You got the higher from in, in, in there. The higher up said, listen, bitch, or listen, nigga. That motherfucker ain't shit. Don't keep acting like you don't see that shit, thinking all that, it, like it ain't gonna happen to you. Hell no, nah, you ain't that on point. That motherfucker ain't shit. They ain't shit. And you still to trying to hold on to a person that ain't shit. And this person instead of doing every damn thing else. But you got somebody else coming back towards you. That's really a wish fulfilled. So you got a choice right now. My Leos, you got all. And at the same time, you, you, you all messed up in the head. You don't know what to do. Because you want this. You want to start this brand new leap of faith. Because this is actually something that you wanted. But maybe you felt like you couldn't have it. And you pulled yourself away from it. But it like your energy may be going back towards it. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. My Leo, you could be a Cancer Leo. That could be possible. Some of you dealing with a Sagittarius. Because somebody want to come back and get that shit right. Whatever it is, like I say, the sex be off the motherfucking chain. It's like y'all are so compatible. Everything is good about y'all. You got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. And you want to take the sleep of faith towards this person, but you don't know what you want to do because you're stuck on the other person still. But it's like you you ain't stuck on the other person. Y'all know where I'm going with this, my Leo. Praying, meditating. Like, God, I don't, like God, I ain't fucking up this time. Not this. Damn, y'all. Y'all walked away from that person. 
Y'all walked away, true enough, you love them. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, y'all walked away from a toxic person. And you got to bring... My Leos, congratulations, because I know how that shit is, because that was that toxic-ass person that we couldn't shape for shit. Y'all know when they step on our paws, we don't give a fuck. But at the same time, that one motherfucker, we don't know why we kept pulling the goddamn thorn out. Like, what the fuck? All that arguing, fighting, shit ain't right. This person got too much going on. They leave you stuck. You be waiting on them to come around. Like, damn, like, what the fuck? They got too much going on. Some of them could have been in a fucking a committed relationship. Some of them could have even been damn married. J or B could be their initials. But my Leos, when that intuition kicked in, what it said? Bitch, it's time to clear it. So there go my Leos. They're going to Sagittarius. And then I got my Aquarius. And that's everybody that dropped their sign that joined. So here we go, my Sag. My Sag and Sarah's done went through a lot of emotional losses too. Everybody don't went through a shit. Y'all don't know what what y'all don't realize what's going on. Everybody, everybody is really coming to terms and coming to grasp with the fact of how people been doing them and they tired. Like it's like you knew it, but it's like you, you float off for some shit. It's called this electromagnetic field. See what it do. It keep our serotonin and our brain suppressed because we need that serotonin. So that serotonin release, it release the, the happy, happy, joy, 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 like the endorphins and all of that right there. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why some people smoke marijuana and they drink and they pop pills and stuff because that's what those drugs do. It, 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 it goes to your central nervous system. And y'all know every illegal drug that it is, it does something. It actually... Y'all think crackheads don't know what they talking about? This is some of the smartest people you'll meet if you, if you fucking listen. You just got to listen. Why you think all that shit is illegal? They got three flowers over there in the Amazon that got antimicrobials that are cure AIDS. Guess what? They are banned from the USA. Oh, my bad. I, I was talking to somebody who forgot they had an orange president. My Sagittarius, y'all yeah, got a lot of emotional loss. Y'all don't have so much. Y'all, y'all, so y'all, sacral chakra and your solar plexus is both activated. So with that being said, it's like if y'all, if some of y'all lost y'all sexual drive at one point, but it's activated. You start, you becoming happy again. You know, y'all are very patient, very, very patient. But you got a lot of temptations coming at you, and you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Your crown chakra don't activated. You got victory. You don't know what to do. Y'all got somebody that's coming at y'all. Y'all got somebody that is coming at y'all play five five six. Y'all got somebody that is coming at y'all that y'all are dealing with, and it's like this is what you want, but due to the fact of what you've gone through, you were having a hard time. You like not really accepting it because you don't feel like you feel like it's too good to be true. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If your birthday between November the 29th and December the 18th. You are, you're an octopus. You're that 13th Zodiac. And with that 13th Zodiac, I'm going to tell y'all a Scorpio and a goddamn... Y'all are a Scorpio and Sagittarius. I'll tell y'all that. They, I can stand on the back of Scorpio and Sagittarius. So with that being said, especially for my males, for y'all... Well, male and female, y'all get energy from sex. Y'all get energy from sex all day long. Y'all are naturally suspicious of people, thinking people that are plotting on you. If you a man and you a Sagittarius, you probably was raised by your daddy. I'm, I mean, um, your Sagittarius, you can't stand your daddy. You don't like your daddy. You probably wasn't raised around your mama, but you vow to never be a damn daddy like your dad be that ass damn daddy and shit. So it's like some of y'all got them baby mamas or baby daddies that prey on you on that bullshit right there. Y'all freaky as fuck. Y'all ain't going some of y'all some big ass lies. Y'all can go. They ain't, I can't even sugarcoat it. Y'all can go. Y'all, some of y'all can go. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that's older than y'all. Some of you guys are dealing with an older person, right? And with that being said, you had this, this was like a third party shit. So you already had something going on. You already had some shit going on. And you trying to work towards, you trying to work towards becoming a better man or the better woman. Whoever this person that you are dealing with, they kind of got an idea of that you were dealing with somebody else. Or they, listen, it, don't be scared to flip it. They got an idea that you were dealing with somebody else. They did because they they really had a lot of high hopes for you, but they they kind of sensed it. You're dealing with a wise person, yeah. You kind of stuck. You don't know what to do. Cause the truth of the matter is, you really it's like 
you feel like this person really is a, a wish come true. And it's like this person been waiting on you. This person feel like you a dream come true to them too. But somebody in this motherfucker ain't talking and they toxic as hell. Very toxic. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. But like I say, that codependency. Whoever this is, somebody got some deep emotional wounds from childhood that they haven't healed yet. And they, especially the men, they do not trust women because they grow up with hoish aunties, sisters, cousins, nieces. Y'all know what I'm saying? So they look at everyone like y'all ain't shit. Like, we ain't shit. And then it's like, they probably gave that one chance to this one woman. Maybe they married them. They was sick. Their person broke their heart. And they don't close themselves off from the real. They fall for the wrong people. That's what it be. Because Sagittarius can't see the wrong in others. And Scorpio's always natural suspicious of people that really genuinely fuck with them. I'm just saying, y'all battling that. Julius Caesar took it out the calendar because the sun on the sit in that planet for 19 days. Yes, Julius lied. July, he lied. Whoever this is, this per it's like you, you want to walk towards this person. This person, I don't think they bitter. It could be another fire sign. I don't think they bitter, but I think they like, it's like you got to come correct with this person. And you already know, like, you want a brand new start with this person. But this person ain't forgetting about what the hell happened. There goes Scorpio energy. Something had to come to it, and did this person walk away? Ooh, Leo showing up in y'all reading. <laughs> y'all got Taurus and Gemini, too. My Scorpio, y'all ended it, I mean, my Sagittarius, y'all ended it from the person that y'all really feel like it could be, y'all feel like this is y'all person, but maybe you don't got no kids by this person, y'all, because y'all walked away for a baby mama or a baby daddy, y'all walked away for that, and this person could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and this person got a, she got, this, this person has a balance of masculine and feminine energy, it's a strong possibility that person is a Leo, now you want to take that leap of faith and you want to go back. You broke that person hard. You broke that person hard. Because you realize that was a wish come true all that damn time. But you, it's like you thinking the one that you've been going at it with, but you've been fighting and all that. So you're dealing with a person. So whoever this person is, y'all walk away from y'all want to go back. They're very spiritual. So y'all don't clear it. Y'all don't clear it. Y'all don't clear it. And now y'all realize, like, the truth. Y'all just, you got to tell the truth because this person is the sunshine, like I said. You want to start over. They got initials of PC or M. It could be a Pisces. This is some, This is a connection that was... This is a divine connection right here. And basically, uh, you got your intuition on kick then now. And you broke that person. You, you, you kind of... Some of y'all heartbroken for whatever y'all did to that person. Y'all person is heartbroken. Some of the heartbroken. If you, like, you had the right person and you chose the wrong person. And it's like your heart is broken because of how you did that person. And now you realize like everything you want, you already had. Yep, yeah, that person, y'all ain't really... I don't see a lot of communication, but that is a person. That's somebody from a past life. Y'all look, some of y'all might have passed over twin flame. They could have dreads in their hair. This person feel like it was not no equal give and take. And they felt like you was full of shit. They did. They been waiting on you to come back for the longest. And they feel like, damn, you can't you make no choice. Like, whoever this person is, they love the hell out of you. It, it hurted them more to walk away. But by you, whatever happened to them, or if it's you, however it go... The situation made the other person boss the fuck up, though. So, and that can't be no mad. It can't be mad or whatever. It shouldn't be. If you holding that grudge and you ain't got there yet, you got to let it go. It, it was a lesson, not a lifetime. So, here we go, Aquarius. Let's see. Okay, Aquarius. My Aquarius. Mm, that's cute. My Aquarius, y'all are finally becoming grounded. You finally becoming grounded. It took that it took that crown chakra to activate first, but you finally becoming grounded and you realizing you realizing everything for what it is. Look, my goddamn fucking phone about to go dead. Hold on, y'all. Whoever this person is, though, I mean, whatever you've gone through, it probably has you feeling uneasy. Feeling like, y'all know how it go. Feeling like the black sheep, the lost sheep. Go see what it is. Feel like that lost sheep. But at the same time, 
It's like, you got to stand your ground. Y'all want to play number 6797. That'd be a good number. Or play 112. Who is that? Y'all can play 6797 or y'all can play 112, you know. Listen, some of y'all, if y'all, if you seeing red red cardinals or you getting that headache right up in there, because some of y'all Aquarius, y'all mediums, you don't realize it. Somebody that passed away trying to get your attention. Somebody, y'all, whoever y'all lost, y'all intuition, okay, whoever this is that y'all don't lost, they trying to get y'all attention. So y'all just pay attention, take heed. I was like, where the hell the car is at? All right, so here we go. Thank you. Here we go, my Aquarius. My Aquarius, y'all don't went through heartbreaks. Feel like people taking advantage of you, don't appreciate you. Y'all just want to get the hell away. Like, feel like everybody full of shit. Waiting on you, look. They don't even like, damn. I, well, thank you for doing this. Like, damn, the bitch don't even say thank you. Thank you. Like I owe them, son. Y'all know how that go. My Aquarius, I'm telling y'all, son. Aquarius and Leos, we're going to suffer. We're going to get hit the hardest with all these planetary aspects for the simple fact. In 2013, around the middle of June, I mean January to the middle of February, the planet Earth moved back under the Aquarian moon. Aquarian and Leo is out in one another planet. And what I mean by exalt, we, we are like the polar opposites. If y'all ain't getting it yet. We're the polar opposites. Leos, we... we we express a, a query that mad science and shit. Y'all see, I keep blurting out facts and shit. That's some queries because they're very smart and intelligent, real good with, with electronics. But at the same time, they over exaggerate Leo's dramatic side because the query they be showing out sometimes. They be showing out. They real smart. People think y'all weird. Y'all ain't weird. I fuck with my queries. Wonder where my bully kill at. Some of y'all can be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or a Aries, right? Maybe a Libra. Whoever this person is, you feel like this person deceptive as hell. You really feel like that, and you you just got the hell away from the situation. Look, y'all ain't even looking back. Y'all like, fuck that, because y'all freed yourself from this. That's probably the best feeling y'all ever had in the damn world. And you realize, like, I don't want this motherfucker anyway. You, yeah, you, you, this person, they think, they like, they coming back. Whoever they, they say they coming back, they gonna bring that ass back. Y'all like, they got me fucked up. They got me fucked up. Y'all got choices and options now. Because judgment don't kick in. When judgment kicked in, boy, that spirituality kicked in. That goddamn intuition kicked in. You walked the hell away. Listen, you did the walk through on their ass. Then you had to goddamn put your heart on motherfucking ice because you love the hell out of this motherfucker. But you got a brand new beginning coming in. You know it. And guess what? Now them motherfuckers want to sit up there and act like they all heard the shit. What the fuck? Like, what you... Or did they think the grass was green on the other side? Y'all don't talk to them motherfuckers about getting that damn shit off. They got that one from Fingerhood that time. That one came from Fingerhood. Fuck that. Your intuition don't kick in or theirs kick in. It's like, well, this is, you got options and you got choices. You got options, you got choices. And it's like, whatever you're going to do, make make do of. Because the truth of the matter is, this person did break your heart. Or this is, y'all flip it however you need to go. But it's like, it's very, it's a lot of passion, but it's a lot of deception. No equal give and take. And it's like, y'all probably work together. Some of y'all could be dealing with a job situation. You got to break, you got to be getting a, a, you got an idea to do something. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries. It's like, you so, you, you, you stuck. Because one minute they okay, then the next minute it's like, I don't know. Taking that leap of faith, though. You're trying to juggle everything, but you're about to take off on your own because you feel like you stuck. You don't know which way to go. You don't free yourself already. Stop taking yourself back to that trap. Some of y'all can be dealing with a Leo, but ain't no way to take y'all to have strength to move towards what y'all really want. Some of y'all moving towards somebody. Some of y'all want a marriage. Some of y'all want a proposal for somebody. I don't know. But I know whatever it is, y'all running that ass back or y'all person running that ass back. It's something like that. So, with that being said, I don't did all the signs that don't drop them on here, y'all. So, let me see. That means any. I don't did all of them that don't drop them on here. Make sure y'all follow me on YouTube, Maya's Treasure Bar. Y'all rock with me now. 